Have you ever wanted to give your users the opportunity to choose between multiple payment methods whenever they're using your form? Let me show you how. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm, I'm Kimberly. And for this example, we are going to need to create three different forms. The first form is going to house everything. We need to create one form for PayPal, and then our third form is going to be a purchase order. So let's go ahead and create that very first form. I'm gonna come to the top left, the orange button, create a form. I'm gonna start from scratch and use the classic form. Now for this, I'm gonna to go to the left-hand side, the form element, and I am going to choose the single choice option. And this is going to be my payment options. And we're gonna give them to PayPal and purchase order. Get rid of these two here. All right, next up over on the left under widgets, we are going to search for iframe embed. Perfect, and we're gonna drag in two of them because we need two, one for PayPal and one for the purchase order. Bring in one more. And so you'll see, it looks like nothing is there, but we're going to come back to this later. Now, one other thing I do want to mention is you can see that we did not put in a name, email address, any of that information in this form. That's because we do not want them to submit this specific form. So one thing I'm going to do is come down to the bottom and I am going to remove the submit button because we want them to finalize and check out either on PayPal or with that purchase order. Okay, next up, let's go build our PayPal form. I'm gonna go back to Jot Form. Gonna create a new form from scratch on the classic form. And this is where we can add in that information. Let's say we want their full name, email, and then under payments, I'm gonna search for PayPal and then I want PayPal standard. Now let's add a couple of test products. Big deal. And I'll go ahead and name this form PayPal so we don't get confused. PayPal, perfect. And then we have our cement button down here. Now, before I leave here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the link for this form and just paste it in my notes section because we're going to need the link to this form for that first form we created. So I'm gonna copy this link. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Jot Form. We're gonna create our last form. So create form, start from scratch, classic form. And let's go ahead and name this one Purchase Order. Then over on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and add in the full name and the email. Then under payments, we're going to have purchase order. It's gonna be very similar to PayPal. Good deal. All right, I'm gonna go up to publish, gonna grab this link. All right, so now let's go back to that original form that we started that had the two payment options. All right, we are here. So. I already have the purchase order URL copied. So I'm just go ahead and start there. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the widget setting. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in where it says the frame URL. I'm gonna update the widget and we can see right there, it says purchase order. Now I'm gonna come up to this first one and then let me grab the PayPal link and paste it in. Perfect. All right, now it's time for the fun stuff. Now we're going to use the conditional logic to show and hide these fields. So I'm gonna go up to settings, then on the left-hand side where it says conditions, first option, show hide field. So it's really just an if this, then that type of a thought process. So if the payment options is equal to PayPal, then we want to show that first one, which was PayPal. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. Let's add one more, show hide field. If the payment options is equal to purchase order, then we want to show the second one, purchase order, save. Perfect, all right, so let's preview the form. Looking good so far. Let's go ahead and choose PayPal. And there we go. The form pops up within this other form. So now we have the first name, last name, we have the email, they get to choose the products, and then we have the submit button within that specific form, not in our overall form. Same thing, let's choose purchase order. And there it is. So very, very simple to do. So if you have any questions about utilizing this for your users, please let us know and I'll see you next time.